below. With the recent terrorist attacks in Paris, we may be wondering what can we do to help? What can we personally do to actually make any difference? Well, whether we're talking about the recent events in Paris or the troubles and wars and disputes all over the world, there is this danger that we can feel despair or hopelessness. Well, there's no need to. The beauty is that each of us individually can contribute what's needed. And what's needed? Love. By offering our love, we can make a difference. The more of us who focus on that positive feeling of connecting of a one humanity needing to love and be loved, the more we can help to resolve all the trouble problems in the world. So, how do we do that? Well, it's actually very simple. I'd like to show you how. Ah, first, let out a big sigh. Shoulders up to the ears and uh, let them go. Release whatever is on your mind. And breathe in, and breathe in a sense of peace, of calm, of loving compassion for everyone. Breathe in a sense of peace, of connectedness, of the love that transcends all our beliefs, all our cultural backgrounds and baggages. Breathe in a sense of love and breathe out all other thoughts, all other feelings. Okay, and now close your eyes and place one hand over your chest and one hand over your stomach. And you'll feel yourself breathing as your stomach goes in and out. Breathe in a sense of peace and calm. <sighs> and breathe out all those ifs and buts and doubts. And as you do so, remember that every single human being breathes. Without it, we wouldn't be alive. Now focus on your other hand over your chest, over your heart. And you can perhaps feel your own heart beating. Just feel it for a few moments. And know that every single human being has a beating heart. When we look at it at this way, we know that every human has far more in common than we have differences. Physically, we are pretty much identical. At a deeper, fundamental level, we all need to love and be loved. And if we think of those who may be committing these atrocities, how have they been? How have they got to that place? Maybe they just felt nobody loved them. Maybe they didn't belong. Maybe they had had a difficult upbringing and were therefore easy prey to those who tried to convert them. Underneath, we are all human beings who need to love and be loved. Or perhaps your thoughts are on friends, family, people you know, or people you don't know, who have suffered loss. Allow yourself to cry. Feel for them, feel with them. We are not alone. We share these basic traits of humanity. And those who don't seem to share our compassion, those who don't seem to have a heart, there will be reasons why if we look at their history. 
So let us pray and send our love, and compassion and support and courage and hope to all those who are working to bring about peace in troubled areas, to bring about reconciliation, to help those who might fall prey to instead feel loved and to feel they belong in the real heartfelt communities in Britain, in Paris, in Beirut or wherever in the world they happen to be. At the level of love or compassion there is no disconnect. Everybody in the world is connected by being human, by having the capacity to love and be loved. mind starts to wander, bring it back to one of your hands, feel your breathing, feel your heartbeat, feel your core being and as you do so feel that which connects every single human being. Perhaps you feel overwhelmed by all of this. So just focus on your own breathing, on your own presence here, now. Perhaps give yourself a hug. That's good. Give yourself a hug. As you hug yourself, as you feel your heart beat, feel an inner glow within you around your heart, your core essence your love in centre. As you breathe, as your heart beats, feel that pulse radiate out, gradually spreading through your torso, through your upper legs, through down through your legs, through your feet. With each heartbeat, with each breath, feel your love is your core essence spreading and filling your body. Allow it to spread through your hands, through your fingertips. Perhaps you can feel them tingle with this life force. And again, focus on that inner core being, your heart beating, your breathing. And feel that is your love of life, for life. And now it's spreading up into your head, into your mind. And as it does so, it neutralises your fear. It neutralises your own judgments. Feel that you are aglow with love. Maybe it's a purple flame or a bright white light. And this is you, your core loving essence. As you feel your whole self glow, now be aware that around the world there are other people doing this healing exercise, doing some other form of healing, meditating, praying, in some way connecting to that which we have in common, our love. And feel each of us who are healing, who are connecting, who are sending love, joining together. Imagine this network around the globe, this web of love, this web of desire for peace, this web of people like you, like me, who know that peace is possible. That the more of us who connect and say so and join in prayers, healing, meditation, we can help to bring this about. Just imagine others you know who may be praying, may be meditating, 
may be healing and feel your inner glow, your light connect with theirs. Whether it's a physical prayer group, physical healing circle, whether it's an online community, any group that shares this inner sense of peace and love and a knowing that that is what makes us human and what will prevail. Feel that love. Feel the connection. Feel the love that makes us human. Last night I heard the strangest dream I had ever dreamed before. I dreamt the world had all agreed to put an end to war. I dreamt I saw a mighty room, and her room was filled with men, and a paper they were signing said they'd never fight again. And the people in the streets below were dancing round and round, and swords and guns and uniforms were scattered underground. Last night I had the strangest dream I've ever dreamed before. I dreamt the world had all agreed to put an end to war. To put an